Hey guys, Tech Material with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Apple Watch not being able to connect or not being able to pair with your Apple iPhone. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the troubleshooting steps to hopefully resolve this issue. So let's dive right into it. So first thing first, if you're having this issue, it's going to be probably around connectivity of your device. So on the iPhone, what you want to do is open up Settings app. And then once you open up Settings app, we're going to momentarily put on the airplane mode about for a moment or so and then turn it back off. And what that does is a quick network refresh, making sure that there's no connectivity issue. Also along with that is that we're going to try to click on Bluetooth here, turn off Bluetooth for a moment and turn it back on. You want to make sure your Bluetooth is always on for the connectivity to happen because that's how Apple Watch and the iPhone connect. So the Bluetooth has to be always on. While we did that on the iPhone, we also want to do the same thing on the Apple Watch. To do that same thing on the Apple Watch, simply click on the circular thing right here. And then what we'll do is go ahead and either go into settings like we did. So there's a setting app just like that. And then in the settings app, you'll notice here things like airplane mode, right? We're going to turn it on for a moment and then turn it back off just like that. And then for Bluetooth, same thing, we'll click on it. We want to make sure that the Bluetooth is on. Here, we're going to turn it off for a moment and then turn it back on just like that and our Bluetooth connectivity is working. So that's a quick thing to do. Now, after you have done that, hopefully your issues resolve, but let's say it's not resolved. What is the next thing you can do? The next thing you can do is actually, we're going to shut down the Apple Watch itself. So to do that, you're going to simply press and hold that button right here just like that, uh, this button down here actually, the one that's going to be underneath that. So you're going to pull that circular button here. Um, this one's going to be the one bottom. You can just slide to power it off. And once you do that, we're going to do a forced restart on the iPhone. So to do a forced restart on the iPhone, we're going to press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold that side button. So as you can see, You'll see this screen, you're not going to slide to power off, we're just going to wait till the phone goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears and that's just forcing the phone to give a nice clean restart and reloading the code. So any sort of software issue that may be impacting the phone from connecting to the Apple Watch will be resolved. Again, that was when you do that, make sure you press and release the volume up and then volume down really quick and then hold that big side button on the side. If Siri activates during the process, that means you didn't press the volume up and down quick enough. And once you have done that, and then we're going to go ahead, turn on the Apple Watch. Again, hold that button right here, just like that. We're going to hold it till we see the Apple logo. And again, wait for the Apple watch to come on and hopefully you can connect this time by going into the Apple iPhone into the app for your watch and hopefully that is resolved. Now let's say if you're still having issue what can you do? The next thing you can do in your iPhone is go to settings this time you're going to general and then go all the way down here where it says transfer or reset iPhone. We're going to click on that and then we're going to do a reset and then the reset that we were going to do is the network one which is the second one which will do reset network setting. But before we do that, we're going to understand what that's doing. So that is not going to delete your data like photos, videos, apps, anything like that information. It's going to delete, what it will delete is settings like pa passwords for Wi-Fi that's been saved, any VPN setting, or if you set up profiles for the network setting, that will delete that. Now once you click on that, it'll take maybe about two to three minutes to do it and it will just do uh, like a restart of the phone almost but not a restart just deleting those settings and fix any network related setting that may be impacting the connectivity now after you have done that and still not working the next thing to do is actually software update for both your iphone and apple watch to do that again in the settings for the iphone you're going to go to general and the software update and then it will look for an update now, at the time of recording, we already updated the phone to the latest version, but if there's a version out there that's going to say download and install, and you click on download and install, make sure you're connected to a good Wi-Fi and a power source because you want the phone to be charged, and then download that latest version of the update. Once you update the phone, you also want to make sure that we update our Apple Watch. And to do that, we click on that big button again, and this time we'll look for the settings app, and then we'll go to general, 
And then as you can see, there's option for software update, and then it will check for updates here. If you have if you don't have automatic update, as you can see, there's a 9.2 update available, and then we click on that download and install and making sure that our software on the Apple Watch is updated because we want to make sure the software are compatible, and that's usually a big reason why the Apple Watch aren't connecting. Now, let's say you've done both of that and it's still not working. Well, if it's still not working, we're still going to do one more thing, which is going to be in the settings on the Apple Watch, and this time in the settings here, right, we're going to go to... Who, so in the settings, you'll probably come here in the main. We're going to go to general and then go down here all the way where it says reset. And we're going to do a full erase all content and settings on your Apple Watch. And the reason why you need to do that is because we need to repair it again once more to your iPhone. Again, this will take about a couple minutes. And then once you have done it, it will come back to the main screen and then you can go ahead and turn it on and use your Apple Watch app on your iPhone to connect it. So hopefully all of these tips or at least one of these tips help you guys resolve the issue connecting your Apple Watch to your iPhone. If so, make sure that like and subscribe button. Also want to hear from you guys if you found a better solution to your problem. Leave a comment in the comment section as well. Thanks for watching and again make sure that like and subscribe button. See you guys next time.